how many killer whales? Well, we just had another one join us. Um, we have six all together. We have our baby who was born just about a month and a half ago. Kind of neat, huh? Mm -hmm. How deep is this water? Now, the, the Shamu facility carries 6 million gallons of man-made seawater, and it's 36 feet deep. I use these animals through positive reinforcement. A lot of the trainers do have... How fast can killer whales swim? You know, they swim about 30 miles per hour. And during the show, they actually do a, a fast swim that sends a big wave of water all the way over the glass. How, how much does the baby weigh? Our little baby, well, when the baby was born, he weighed 350 pounds and was about six and a half to seven feet long. And he's grown quite a bit since then. He's probably over 400 pounds now. It's really different. In fact, the first time I rode a killer whale, it, you could really feel the power and the force behind the killer whale speed just on your head. So it was really exciting. But now that I ride them every day, it's, it's much more fun and playful. And during our shows, you'll see that the trainers are out there. They're rubbing them down, providing them with a lot of play and attention. And by doing this every day, we build a relationship with them. What are their spot markings for? Well, their coloration. Each whale has a different coloration. And actually, you can identify the whales by their different markings. And if you'll look right behind their dorsal fin, you'll see what we call the saddle patch. And that's almost like a fingerprint. But how do you train them? That's Great question. Positive reinforcement. Do you like a lot of attention, Jonathan? Yeah. You do, huh? I really like them. <laughs> you like them, too. Well, the whales respond very well to attention and something that's interesting and stimulating. So as trainers, we look and we pay very close attention to what the animals respond well to. And what they respond well to is like a little back rub sometimes. They also like, the, they like uh, their tongue. Their like to pet their yeah, you know, they don't have hands to manipulate objects, so they use their mouth a lot. They use their tongue to feel things sometimes.